Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It is Monday, the third day of June. It is Impersonate Authority Day. That is illegal, so be careful about that. <laughs> Love Conquers All Day, National Chocolate Macaroon Day. It was just Macaroon Day the other day. Now chocolate macaroons get their now, own day. Now why do they need a special day? I don't that know. National bit... Egg Day. I celebrated that this morning, but I, I celebrate that every morning. You do. It's also National Insect Repellent Awareness Day. National Itch Day lands on that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, National Repeat Day. National Repeat Day. <laughs> National Re... <laughs> no? Okay. And World Bicycle Day. All of that stuff and much, much more happening today. And I've got a guest on this Movie Star Monday. I'm going to be visiting with Nick Stahl. And you have seen Nick in a bunch of movies and TV shows. But here's the thing that's fascinating. He's an adult now. But the first movie we ever saw him in, he was a little kid. And he was handpicked. I read this. And I'm going to ask him about it. Handpicked by Mel Gibson for the t- uh, the movie A Man Without a Face. He was a little boy in that movie. And uh, now he's all grown up, and he's got a, a kind of a scary movie out. It's called What You Wish For. It looks really good. We'll chat with them all about it. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. Yes, BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. You should not hug your dog. What? I hug my dogs all the time. According to new research from a bunch of haters at the Cork <laughs> Pet Behavior Center in Ireland. Uh, also, it's where are they? In Hateville, Ireland. That's No, they're not really. Uh, they <laughs> determined that while humans view of the act of hugging as a sign of affection, dogs interpret a hug as restraint. Oh. A study of photographs of people hugging their dogs found that 82% showed at least one sign of stress from the dog. Why? In times of stress or threat, a dog's first line of defense is not his teeth, but to run away. Behaviorists believe that depriving a dog of the course of action by immobilizing him or her with a hug can increase their stress level. If a dog's anxiety becomes significantly intense, they might even be driven to bite you. So, yeah, if you're hugging your dog and they want to get away, then let them get away. But if you're, I don't know, I I just have never had an issue with that. When I hug our dog, she gives, like, licks me on the face. Yeah. So, I think they are just being mean to their dogs. That's what's going on. (laughs) I guess so. Yeah. (laughs) Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years and it's amazing. You can find out more at Radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Did you know? Brought to you by genesisgoldira.com. Heidi, did you know that even though Fruit Loops are in a variety of colors, they all have the exact same flavor? Yes, I did know that. We've talked about this before, haven't we? Yes, we we have. When I was a kid, we couldn't afford the brand name Fruit Loops. We had like a generic, like fruity circles or something like that. And I think they were all the same color. I don't think they were different colors. They were like an orange color. Those are color. called Apple Jacks. No, I don't think they were. I don't know. I'm sure we couldn't afford Apple Jacks either. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know everything, but now we know this. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by Radiosavings.com. Demi Moore said that Channing Tatum has not reached out to her about the Ghost remake that he's working on, but she is interested in what he has planned. Uh, Moore and Whoopi Goldberg and the late Patrick Swayze starred in the original movie almost 35 years ago. That wow. I was that's one I was never a fan of. Wow, Heidi. I know haters Heidi. gonna hate. H e i d i. You go ahead and send those hate letters. Um, anyway, uh, she said that uh, she has not heard from Tatum, but she said she feels that he is super talented, and she said, I'm curious to see what they decide to do. And federal investigators are preparing to bring ac- uh, the accusers of Sean. Puff Daddy, Diddy, Combs, before a federal grand jury. Sources say this could be happening uh, fairly soon, it sounds like. There's been quite a few 
quite a few people now, uh, eight different lawsuits since November, directly, seven of them directly accusing him of sexual assault. So I don't yep. know. I don't know what's going on there, but it doesn't seem like good stuff. Big screen, little screen, brought to you by radiosavings.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than 15 bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mentervention.com. That's Mentervention.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. 25% of people say the last time they panicked was when their cell phone battery died. Oh I don't think gosh. I've ever panicked over that. Oh, I take that back. There was a time that I, I almost panicked, uh, and then I realized that uh, I, I had another way. But I was going to record an interview with somebody using my cell phone, like the recorder on there. And the battery was almost dead. Okay. I was like, oh, yeah. And another one here, 20% of adults say they have faked talking on the phone in order to avoid somebody. I have. Yeah. I have. You, you have, because you had the phone up to your ear, and you pretend like you were talking, and then somebody called you, and it was ringing in your ear. <laughs> and I was like, you haven't been on the phone this whole time? You're just ignoring me? <sighs> it was me that called. I was checking, because I didn't think... I didn't think that conversation was real. And is there nothing Ozempic can't do? A new study found that uh, semaglutide, the compound that has taken the world by storm, is a weight loss drug in both Ozempic and Wigovi or Wigovi. How I still have never heard anybody else say that. How, how do you say it? Wigovi. I have Wigovi? no idea for sure, but I, I don't know. That other one. Uh, they also slowed the progression of chronic kidney disease. Yeah. It was also found to reduce the risk of kidney failure. Reduce the risk of heart attack and stroke and death in type 2 diabetes patients. The long-term study yielded such good results that the company ended it early. Okay. And the findings may one day revolutionize how doctors approach kidney disease. Here's the thing. They ended it early. Why not keep doing it? Maybe it's because, well, if we keep checking, we might have bad news. <sighs> but that would be the proper thing to do. Keep doing the study to find out what's going to happen. Like, we all know what's going to happen for, like, the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, because there are people that have done it. What's going to happen over the long term? Wouldn't that be the most important thing? You would think so. I don't know. That just seems really weird that they, oh, hey, we did so well, we're going to stop doing this study. All right. Scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver with a tax-free rollover? You can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your free gold and silver guide. Call one 800 200 gold or visit genesisgoldira.com. Thank you for listening on A Movie Star Monday. Nick Stahl is our guest today. He's been in a bunch of films. He's got a brand new one that's in theaters right now. But Nick, I'm going to go way back. Your first feature film, you get to work with Mel Gibson in The Man Without a Face. And I'm reading here that he selected you to be in the film. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done a couple of television movies before that. I'm um, kind of old, so they used to have these things called movies of the week, you know? Oh, yeah, um, I remember those. So I did uh, a couple of those starting when I was about 10, and then uh, did Man Without a Face when I was I was 12. So Well, that's very, yeah. very cool. And, and uh, you did a great job, and, and like I said, I remember watching that movie back in the day. Uh, so I think you and I are pr probably pretty close to the same age, because when I watched that, I was also just a younger guy, and, and as you've grown up, you've had a chance to do some really fun projects, and what you wish for is kind of a thriller, I would say, isn't it? It is a thriller, yeah. It's kind of a film noir thriller um, with a little bit of just enough horror, I would say, to satisfy the, the, the horror fans out there, you know? And this this film, uh, for folks that haven't seen the trailer, I do have a link to it so you can see it. I've got a, a way for you to find the movie and everything. But it's uh, it's kind of a, a story where your character takes on somebody else's identity for all the best reasons, though, right? <laughs> yeah, well, I, would, I, I think they're uh, defensible reasons, um, relatable reasons, you know, um, hopefully, you know. I guess that's. I guess uh, we'll see what what audiences uh, think. <laughs> but yeah, I would say 
but but he, <laughs> then he gets what he wishes for, and and l- like so many times in real life, when we get what we wish for, we don't necessarily realize all that comes with it, right? Absolutely, yeah. No, I mean, uh, you know, this character, he's his, his life is kind of in a bad situation when the film starts, and uh, his friend, he meets up with an old friend whose life looks a lot better, and through a series of circumstances, I won't spoil. Uh, you know, he ends up stepping into the the role of his friend's life, his friend's job, and um, yeah, there's uh, there's kind of a hidden uh, dark side to it. Um, so he ends up having some consequences for the decisions he makes. Well, it looks really good. I'm excited for folks to see it. I'm going to throw a, tra- a link to the trailer and a link to be able to find it. Now, you've had a chance to do some amazing projects, and some of these things are like household names. Everybody's heard of things like Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, Fear the Walking Dead, and we talked already about uh, The Man Without a Face, but you've had a chance to do a bunch of really big projects, but some of my favorite projects that you have had a chance to do are some of the smaller projects that maybe don't have as big of a budget, but that's where you really get to shine isn't it yeah i mean i i think that's probably where i feel most at home still is smaller independent films you know i've done i've done a lot more of those and uh it's fun to do to do something big like like terminator i mean it's just it was you know very it's a surreal experience and um had a blast doing that but um you know i i I would say i feel most at home in the indie world you know still in the independent film world, the other thing that's kind of neat about that is it's got to be a completely different feel on the set. When you're there without the big, giant budgets, it's got to feel completely different even making that film. Definitely. You have a lot less time. You got a lot less resources, but that's not always a bad thing, you know? Like on this film in Columbia, we shot this in Columbia. Uh, it was a 23-day schedule. You know, sometimes when you're under the gun like that and uh, there's a certain urgency, that can lend itself to something uh creatively uh interesting so terminator 3 you've got all the time in the world to, to uh get something right you just do the scene until you get it i mean you could be there yeah. for days and on these indie films you know you definitely you have a set schedule and so you gotta you gotta be prepared you gotta show up and you gotta you know um you gotta be ready ready to ready to film so um yeah two different worlds but um Ultimately, my job is kind of ends up being the same, you know. Well, so. you, you do a phenomenal job, whether that they have a giant budget or something like this, where you got uh, again maybe not as big of a budget, but when you watch the film, you'd never know that because it turned out amazingly well. And again, it's called "What You Wish For." It's in theaters. It's also available on digital. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us about it today. I appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely. Again, our guest today on this Movie Star Monday, Nick Stahl. His new film that's out right now is called What You Wish For, and it hit theaters on the 31st. So that was, oh, last Friday. So it's not been out a long time, but it's out right now. I've got a link to the trailer and all the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Whether you have a credit card now and need a better credit card, or if you don't even have a credit card, but you'd like to get a good one, we would love to help at BetterCreditCards.com. We offer a variety of credit card options to fit your needs. Whether you want a card to give you cash back or points and perks, or a credit card to help you build your credit, we can help you find a good fit for you at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit at BetterCreditCards.com. It's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Soy sauce has 10 times more antioxidants than red wine. So, you really? know, people drink red wine for the antioxidants, right. and that's the only reason they drink red wine. It, yeah, that's oh, the reason. There's other reasons? That okay. is the reason. All right. Well, then you probably won't be popping a cork off a bottle of soy sauce tonight. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? There are more bacteria in a human's mouth than there are people on the entire face of the planet. How no. weird is that? Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Most people st- spend 60% of their conversation time talking about themselves. That jumps to 80% while chatting on social media. Hmm. Wow, I never talk about me. Okay, maybe once in a while. <laughs> Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? A 2013 study showed that the average kid asks 300 questions a day. Girls age four, about 390 questions a day. It's kind of cool. And our final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Dolphins recognize and admire themselves in mirrors. 
Oh, now we need Isn't to get some cute? mirrors and throw them in the ocean or something. I don't know. Several fun facts. Now, you know, thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. So how do you like these gas prices? Not great, huh? How would you like to save money every time you get gas? I've been using this app for a few years, and it's amazing. You can find out more at radiosavings.com. When I first heard about it, I didn't think we'd have this in our area. But they seem to have stuff all over the place. You can sign up for free and try it for yourself. They have savings on gas, but on many other things too, like restaurants and convenience stores. Try it for free at radiosavings.com. That's radiosavings.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. Even though this is considered very risky, about three quarters of us, 75%, will do this this month. What is it? Oh my gosh, I have no idea. Put a cotton swab in our ear. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she That's just gave ridiculous. it. It is ridiculous. Yeah, but you could also poke a hole in your eardrum doing that. So be careful. Don't do that. It says right on the Q-tips that you bought to do that to not do <laughs> to that not with do these that things. With it. Yeah, I don't know what else you'd do with them. But I don't know. You'd use them to do other stuff, craft <laughs> projects, maybe. Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Do you have a mobile phone? How much do you pay every month? If that number is more than fifteen bucks, it's time for a Mintervention. Mint Mobile makes it affordable and easy to switch. Get a new phone or bring your current phone. At Mintervention.com, you can see the current special offers from Mint Mobile, offering premium wireless for just $15 a month. That's far less than most people are paying, just $15 a month. Learn more now at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Now, some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Japanese beverage company Kiran has unveiled their electric salt spoon. The what? what? <laughs> electric salt spoon. It's an offshoot of a type of chopstick that they came up with a few years ago, which uses a small, imper- Im- imperceptible electric charge into your mouth, causing the diner to perceive the food is salted. So they're zapping you, making you think that it's salted, when in fact there's no salt at all. Okay. The electric charge aligns the concentrate sodium molecules to amplify their taste by 1.5, thereby helping alleviate the public health crisis of too much sodium in Japan. Oh, well, now comes the electric nice. salt spoon with the aid of doing the same thing for those of us who don't use chopsticks. So they've only made 200 of these heart-saving implements available, but at a much larger release uh, will be planned soon. Experts say the spoon is a potential lifesaver and the very least it would add the flavor to your palate without adding flavor to your food. Huh. So if you have that like a low sodium diet, they're going, get a spoon that'll zap you when you eat. Yeah, Taser's coming out with their own version. No, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Weird News brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. I don't know if you know this, but I've always wanted to be a game show host. Have I ever told you uh, that, Heidi? Yes, you have many times. I always times. thought that would be so much fun. Well, I have for you the best game show hosts according to 10 expert websites. So uh, who do you think is on the list? Well, you Just know Pat Sajak is there. Anybody else that comes to your mind while you think of him? Uh, and um, Bob Barker. Okay, well, those are both on the list. Number five is Pat Sajak, Wheel of Fortune. He's been hosting since 1981, by the way. Uh, number four, Gene Rayburn from The Match Game. He hosted a variety oh, of yeah. bunch of different shows. Yep, I remember But his him. trademark uh, was the skinny microphone and, yeah. and uh, all of that stuff. Uh, number three, Richard Dawson from The Family Feud. Now when you watch those, you see he was the kissing bandit. That's what they called him because he kissed a bunch of people. Yeah, I remember that. Pretty much every lady that ever walked in the building. Number two, Alex Trebek from Jeopardy. He hosted from 1984 right up until he passed away in 2020. And the number one on the list, Bob Barker. Price is right. Hosted from 72 to 2007. Who didn't love Bob Barker? I know. He is awesome. And here's one that amazes me that he did not make the list. Steve Harvey. I can't believe he didn't make the top well, five list. Well, yeah. I I think that he should have been on the list, but there is the best game show hosts of all time. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Can your IRA or 401k stand up to the next financial crisis by allocating a percentage of your retirement into physical gold and silver? With a tax-free rollover, you can diversify and safeguard your holdings from turbulent markets and economic downturns. Safeguard your assets with a tax-free rollover with a Genesis Gold IRA, the only IRA that can hold physical precious metals. Protect your retirement today with a simple phone call and receive your 
free gold and silver guide. Call 1-800-200-GOLD or visit genesisgoldira.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. Quote today is from the TV, or from the movie Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Apparently we're doing movie quotes now uh, from 1971. A little nonsense now and then is relished by the wisest men. I like that. <laughs> that really is. You know what? A little nonsense does come in handy once in a while, doesn't it? It does. I remember uh, there was like a heated argument where two people were getting very angry at each other. And then one said something very absurd and they both started laughing. And then they sat down and had a beer. Uh-huh. And I remember thinking that was amazing. What yeah. I just saw there was amazing. So a little bit of a little bit of silliness sometimes is good. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of radiosavings.com. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. I think this is good news. Comes your way courtesy of GenesisGoldIRA.com. And this comes from Rocks Beach, Florida. Need a hug? Deputies reunite a little girl with her mother. What an amazing story. And this could have turned out really, really bad. But instead, it turned out really, really good. A little girl was looking for her mother, and her mother was distraught looking for her little girl. The sheriff office released body cam footage capturing the emotional moments of the rescue. The video showed Deputy Moore responding to the call after the child's mother provided authorities with a description and a recent photo of the daughter. Upon locating the young girl, Deputy Moore gently approached her and inquired if she was all right. She said, I miss my mommy. I miss Aww. her. And her voice was filled with emotion. Moore said, do you need a hug? It's going to be okay. Let's go get you to mom, all right? As the deputy escorted the young girl back to her mother, a crowd gathered around the deputy's vehicle, witnessing the poignant reunion. Body cam footage captured the tearful moment when the girl's mother, overcome with relief, oh, I couldn't even imagine. cried as she embraced yeah, of her course. daughter. And uh, it, it's amazing. Again, think about this. So many times when there's a police officer in the news, it's because of something negative. I love the fact that we've got these amazing positive stories. And I love it when they share the the uh, body cam footage for that, too. Right. Because that's like the closest I'm going to ever get to seeing what it's like to be a hero. Because they re- they release this footage and you're seeing what they're seeing when they do that. Yeah. And uh, you get to see what they were going through and all the stuff that, that, and that uh, was going on. that could have ended so badly. Oh, yeah, yeah. So and and instead, thank it. goodness, it ended in a, in a very good way. So I've got a link to that. There's photos there. There's, uh, there's also video footage there, all of that, in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show.